If you use G Suite or G Suite Essentials, you might be leveraging Google Meet to securely organize your meetings. Especially for your large meetings or maybe for your live streams, sometimes you want to know how many people attended your meeting and for how long. This information is indeed available in G Suite Admin Console, but one needs admin permission to get this level of details. And of course, you do not want to assign G Suite Admin permission to all of your G Suite users. So one solution could be to ask your G Suite users to come to you and then you manually go to G Suite Admin Console, get their meeting detail and hand it over to them. But that might be very time consuming and it does not scale well. So I thought to create a self-service solution where your G Suite users without admin permissions can simply fill up a form and instantly get their Google Meet meeting attendance report. Now putting together this whole solution to work in your G Suite domain, it hardly takes around 15 minutes, but you should only invest this time if you like the result. So first, let me show you the end user experience, and if you like it, then I'll show you step by step how to put together this solution and make it work in your G Suite tenant. <music> My users will have access to a Google site which I've mapped with Meet Reporter dot mydomain.com. So when they go to this uh, website or this site, this is only accessible for uh, my users who are authenticated. So they will need to log in with their G Suite account to look at the site where I have embedded this Google form where they will simply need to put the meeting code and the meeting type and they will get the attendance automatically. So I'm filling it up with my admin uh, email address and if I go to this mailbox I, d I do a quick refresh and I don't have any emails. Now I will take some of the meetings that I have. The first one is the live stream event where I am the organizer. So I'm going to copy this meeting code and I will fill up that form. So meeting code is this one and the meeting type is live stream and I will click on submit. I will submit a couple of more responses so I'll go to Google Keep and then copy the next one and instead of live stream this is a regular uh, meeting so I'll copy this code and I will fill up the form again this is the regular meeting so I'll click on submit and then the final one where I'm the participant but I'm not the organizer of this meeting so I'll copy that one Oops. So I'll copy this one and then submit one more response, put the meeting code and let's live stream and I click on submit. Okay. Now when I go to my mailbox so far I've got the two responses. I'm I'm gonna get the third one too, which you see I just got here. So now when I open the first one, which was the live stream, it sent me uh, an email with the Google Doc link. When I click on this doc link, it shows me my live streaming status, how many uh, users or which users attended or watched my live stream. This is my dummy account, so I only have a couple of participants here, but in your case, you might have hundreds uh, or thousands of participants here. Now the second one, let me delete this one, the second one was the regular meeting, so when I click on this one, it says uh, here is your meeting report, and when I click on this one, it will show me uh, the duration as well because this is a regular uh, meeting and Google API provides you number of uh, seconds and duration for regular meetings. It says zero in the first one because API returns uh, duration in, in seconds and I'm converting those seconds to minutes so if it's uh, and then giving the round figure in case if they just attended last like for a few seconds it may report zero. Now the last one where I'm not the meeting organizer and it won't be a good idea to provide that information to non-meeting organizers. So when I click on this email it says apologies you are not authorized to get meeting attendance report for this one because you are either not the meeting organizer or you provided incorrect meeting code. <laughs> So this was the end user experience. If you didn't like the experience, you can stop watching the video now. But if you did like it, then let me show you how you can put the solution to make it work in your G Suite domain by just four simple steps. So step number one, we will need to create a dedicated Google admin account, which we will be using to call Google reports API and get the API data and also to send emails to our requesters. Step number two, we will create a Google form where users will be 
coming and you know filling up the information giving us the input which we will use to give them their specific google meet meeting attendance report third step will be to use google app script which will do the automation for us so it will read the values which a requester has provided in our google sheet and we'll call google reports api to get that detail create a Google document, which will have attendance uh, information, and then send that documentation via email to the requester. And then the last or the fourth step, which is optional by the way, but I would highly recommend it, is to embed the form that you create in step number two into a Google site so that your users then have like a one place to go and get the meeting attendance report. So with that, let me share my screen now and show you how you can do these four steps one by one in great details. Okay, so the first step to configure the solution is to go to my website, goldiora.com, where you will see this blog post that says Google Meet Attendance Tracker. If you're watching it at some other time, maybe you can just uh, search for Google Meet Attendance Tracker to see that post. And then once you're here, you can click on the post link. It is private so far, so I'll just put my password, but the time you're gonna watch it, it should be available to anybody. And uh, and once you are in this blog post, scroll down to table of contents, and then you go to this number three, which talks about the setup. So I'll click on that, and it takes me to the setup section. So let's start with the first step, which is to create a dedicated admin account. And then we will be using this account uh, to call reports API to get details of specific Google meeting uh, which requester has asked for. So for that you will go to your admin console and you will create a new user. You can name it anything. I named it uh, meetreporter at mydomain.com. Now this email address we will be using it to send emails uh, to the requesters. So you know make it contactual so the users understand what this account is all about. Now once you're done creation of this account, you will assign a license to this account. I'm assigning a G Suite Enterprise license, but you may also assign business or basic license. That should be fine too. And then once you are done with assignment of license, you will create a new delegated administration role. So instead of assigning super admin permissions, let us create a super, uh, custom admin role and you can name your role anything that you want. I've re made mine custom reporting admin and then uh, you will scroll down from permission or the privileges and assign the reports uh, permission as you see in the screenshot here. Once you're done with that you will need to assign that uh, role that we just created to the user that we will be using. So here uh, under your custom reporting admin you will click on assign role and then you will select your user that you created and click on assign role. With that we are done with step one which was to create a dedicated admin account and assign it to delegated reporting admin permission. Okay so in step number two we will need to create a Google form. This form will be filled up by our users who would need access to their Google Meet attendance report. For that you will either go to forms.google.com or maybe you can straight away go to forms.new to create a new form. When you create a new form it will be good to give it a title so I'm calling mine uh, Google Meet attendance reporter but you can call it anything that you want. And then in the header of the form you should provide a couple of pieces of information. First one is that user who was filling up this form and asking us to provide meeting a report or meeting attendance report must be the organizer of the meeting because we will not be sending meeting attendance detail to anyone else other than the meeting organizer. So you should highlight it here and save some of their time. And then the second piece is once you are done with your meeting, it takes reports API to collect that data and, and make that data available to you. In my experience, it usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes. So you should highlight that they should not be filling information right away after their meeting is done. They should you know, do that after 20, 30 minutes. So just highlight it here. Once we are done with the header information, we will create two questions in our form. First question will be meeting code because this is the information that will be sent to our uh, reports API call so that Google knows which uh, meeting are we asking uh, them about. 
they can fill up either like the the code as you see here with, without the hyphen or even if they just put it uh, with the hyphen that is fine too now the second question will be meeting type whether it's a regular meeting or a live stream and that's because Google reports API has separate endpoints for regular meetings and live stream and based on what user inputs here we can call the dedicated endpoint to get information so once you're done with your form header and these couple of questions your form will look something like this where you have the form header description which can give your users more context your meeting code question and then a meeting type question after that you should go to uh, the form settings as you see in the screenshot here when you click on the settings we will change a couple of things here number one we will say collect email addresses because we need to only send meeting attendance reports to organizers so when we collect the email address here of the form uh, submitter we should be able to compare their email address with the email address that we get from the API as meeting organizer and if they both match then we will respond them with the attendance report otherwise no and then you will click on requires sign in because we only need to make it available to the users in our domain now once you're done with this you will then click on the responses tab and click on create spreadsheet because we need to provide the responses sheet to our Google form where we have all the responses coming in once you click there Google will ask you whether you need to create a new spreadsheet or select an existing one so I'll go with creating a new spreadsheet and you can give it a name I'm calling it Google meet attendance reporter but you can call it anything and then click on create your spreadsheet will be created and you will notice three things here number one you will have the Google meet attendance reporter whether whatever the title that you gave to your uh, response sheet and then you will have uh, the timestamp meeting code and meeting type because these are the three questions or two questions we asked and the third one is inserted by default and then your uh, sheet name will be form responses one by default now you will go to your spreadsheet and add three more columns to it email address now this will be if you don't add it it will also be inserted by itself when you fill up your form for the first time because we are collecting the email addresses of the requesters then you will have the report status now this will be filled by our scripts so for example when a user submits a form we will send him the attendance report and then under report status we will put status saying report sent so the next time when next person fills up the form we should only process the request where the status is not equal to report sent so you, we only process the new ones and then the report link we will put the Google Doc link here which will have the meeting details of requested uh, uh, meeting this is only for the admins reference so with that we are done with the uh, step number two of uh, creating Google form and making our Google sheet ready for the solution okay so in step number three we will be adding a Google Apps script to our sheet which will do the heavy lifting for us so for that you will scroll down a bit and you will see the source code here just hover on uh, this uh, block and it will say copy to clipboard when you click on that it will say the script has been copied once you do that you will come to your Google sheet and then you will go to tools and click on script editor it will open an editor for you in your case it will you know say something like this so it will be when you click on script editor from tools you will see something like this where you will have an untitled project you should name it something which is contactual and then you will delete the default code provided once you do that you know as you see here you can give your uh, script a title and then you here you will paste the code so the code for example if I paste what I copied from my website you can do that and then you will save your changes okay once you do that you will go to resources and advanced Google services so if you go to resources you will need to go to advanced Google services if this is your first time uh, running this script with this account you will see this message where Google will say that you will need to accept the cloud console terms of service click on this link and as soon as you click on that it will take you to Google cloud platform 
just uh, read and agree terms and conditions and click on agree and continue. After that you should go back to resources and advanced Google services and then we, here we will need to enable two advanced services. One is admin reports API and the other one is Gmail. So if I go to my sheet when I click on resources advanced Google services you will see ad, uh, admin reports API you will need to turn it on and then also for Gmail API you will turn it on. Reports API will be used to call Google uh, Reports API and get the meeting details. Gmail API will be used to send emails to the meeting attendance requesters. Now App Script also has its own uh, emailing service that's called uh, Mail App so you can also use it. I somehow prefer Gmail API so I'm going with this one. Once you are done turning on these APIs, next step for us is to test our script and for that you will do a sample or the test entry in the Google form that you created. So fill up your form and then put the meeting code here and make sure that the user which you're using to do this test is indeed the owner of this specific meeting. And when I say owner, I meant organizer. And then here either you can put it like without the hyphens or if you're copying it from somewhere it comes with hyphen like this which is also fine because our script will replace the hyphens and then here you will select the meeting whether it's a regular meeting or the live stream and then click on submit once you do that you will see that the response has been uh, inserted in your Google Sheet okay now what you need to do is go to your script that you just pasted from my website and then under functions go to get meet attendance that are that's our main function and then click on run if this is the first time you're running it it will ask you to do the authorization so when you select Google meet attendance and click on play to run it will say review permissions you will need to select the account that you created you know, when we started in step one and then you will you know look at the permission that it needs and click on allow and once you do that when you run the script you will see that the script just sent the attendance report to this user and gave you the link of the report that it sent so now if I go back to my email I see that I've been sent an email from that account the meet report that we created so when I click on that it says hey admin this is the report for this meeting code and when you click on this you will see the attendance report. Now this is just a demo account so I only have you know I created meeting by myself but in your case if you have 50 people or 100 people attended that meeting you will see 100 or 50 rows uh, in this table. Live stream uh, in case of live stream Google does not provide duration like it does for regular meetings so if it's live stream you will see something like live streaming status in the header and here you will you, you will see uh, live stream uh, watched in, in this uh, column and then here in this column you will see users email addresses who watched your live stream. So our script is working fine when the user is indeed the organizer. This time let us test with something else. So I'll take the same uh, meeting code and this user is the meeting organizer but this time I'm going to fill up the form but with this meet reporter account that we created because we know that this is the this is not the organizer of the meeting so for that I will fill up the form again and it says this is the account and also regular meeting click on submit our form will get an entry pretty soon let me do a quick refresh Okay, so we just got the entry. Now uh, we need to go back to our script. I think I just closed it, so I'll go back to the script, click on uh, functions, get me attendance, and click on this. And then it will run the script. And this time it said user not authorized because this person who filled up the form is not the meeting organizer. So let's go to this person's. Uh, mailbox and see what you got. So I'll do a quick refresh and it says sorry you are not authorized to get the meeting report for this this meeting as you are ne either not the meeting organizer or you provided incorrect meeting uh, code. Please contact us at this email address for any questions. 
Now ideally you should be changing this because it says XYZ at your domain.com. So now let me just uh, tell you a couple of things that you might need to tweak in the script that you copied from my website. First of all, very important, we are reading information or our script is reading information from this table okay and it starts with zero because we are reading an array so this is column number zero this is column number one column number two etc you need to make sure because you know you might make your form a bit different than mine so when you you know put these values here for example first one it says user claimed organizer which means that users email address so we need to see what column is that so zero one two three so that's number three so make sure here under data I you have mentioned number three in case if in if in your case if this column instead of D if it's C then it will be number two and you should replace this three with two same case for other ones like meeting code which column is that so in my case meeting code is zero one so it's on number one so uh, I have one here so in your case if it's two you will replace it two etc and same case with the status and the user email okay user email and user claimed organizer will be same so this is something that you need to make sure uh, and then this is the meeting type so in my case zero one two and that's why I have mentioned two here in your case if it's one you will replace it with one okay so once you're done with this then you will scroll down and we have the email uh, sending function which is here so this is the function which runs when the meeting organizer fills up the form so he is authorized to get report so if you need to change something here for example this is the subject line you can change it here and then after this comma you have this as the body of the meeting so you can change it so instead of saying XYZ maybe you can you know write whatever uh, meet reporter or something uh, at uh, you know whatever your domain is so you can simply do this and then this is the unauthorized uh, response function which runs when the meeting requester is not the organizer of the meeting so you can simply this is his email this is the subject of the email and then this is the body of the email you can simply change it if you want to like this and then finally you will save the changes and after making change maybe better to just check it once now so far it is working manually every time you need to come here click on play button to run our script but how can we make it automated so that it runs by itself and for that we will leverage Google Apps Script's uh, great functionality called triggers so for that you will click on this clock icon when you click on that you will see that we don't have any triggers yet but we have this big blue button uh, called add trigger click on that and it will give us the window so though we have a lot of functions created but we will choose our primary one which is get meet attendance uh, leave it uh, to head and then from spreadsheet let's leave it like that and then under event type let's make it on form submit here say uh, immediately so essentially what we are asking Google is to run our get meeting attendance function as soon as there is on form submission event when you click on save you will see that our trigger has been created and it's now active now in next or the last step we will embed this Google form into our Google site so our users have one place to go and get their meeting attendance report okay so this is the last step of our solution where we will be embedding this Google form into our Google site and this is optional but I would still recommend you to do that because then your users will have like a one place to go and get attendance reports so for that you will go to uh, sites.google.com and you will create a new site I've already created one so I'll show you what I did here and then you can just uh, make it something similar 
Okay, so what I did, I just, uh, you know, named my Google site Google Meet Attendance Report. I gave it a title, Google Meet Attendance Reporter. And then here, when you double click, for example, if you double click anywhere, it will give you an option to insert from Drive. You will click on Drive icon, and then you will click on Search. File type will be uh, Forms, and then you will see your form here. Just click on Insert to add the form. Okay, I've already added my form, so I'll skip this for now. So this is my form, and then here you can, you know, you can uh, add a text widget. So for example, like this, you will have a text widget. Add two widgets, and then here you will again put some expectations, such as you know what happens once you fill up the form what is expected etc and once you're done you can click on publish it, I've already published it so I'll just go back and show you the preview so this is how it will look like to the end users and if I do one quick entry saying it's a live stream click on submit then I should pretty soon get an email on self-service basis Okay, right here is my meeting report. I click on this link and I see that live stream attendance. Congratulations, you just configured your Google Meet attendance reporting self-service. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that either under this video or in my blog post, and I'll be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much. Thank you.